I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished this symbol on the inside. We haven't done anything to the outside, um, so it's still in its original, approximately 100-year-old condition on the outside. But uh, but the inside, I'm going to give you a tour of that, and then I'll play it for you. It turned out it turned out beautifully. We did a complete um, uh, restoration of new hammers and strings and, and dampers and, and a number of other action parts. And then, of course, the keys. Uh, so yeah, why don't we start there? Let's start at kind of the, I guess, the, the part that you can see without taking it apart. So these, these keys are, are beautifully redone. The, the uh, hallmark of a, of a properly um, executed key job, well, there are a few of them. One of them is that all of these notches where the, where the sharps go, that those are all perfectly 90 degrees. Another hallmark is that when you when you sight down now let's get the camera sighting down here that all of those notches and then the notches all line up you could put a straight edge up to the notches and they're all just perfectly straight that's another hallmark of a correctly executed key job and then finally that uh, well I guess there's there's more all of all of these the, the sides of the keys are flush with the with these veneers, and then of course all of the uh, straight the, the sides are totally straight where they've been filed. What else? Well, the contour, the, the contour is is even. So it's just a beautiful key job, really, really well done. Then the pedals, the pedals are original, but they've been. Uh, um, We've worked them over to to look like that. We put on new new casters so that so it, it rolls very easily, very well, which most most pianos this age, the casters are in terrible condition. And then other other little cosmetic things like uh, like like these little uh, this lock here and this little plate there. So that's that's the extent of what you can what you can see from the outside. Okay, but here is where the magic was. It's on the inside. This piano is 1924, by the way, so almost 100 years. Here we have all new uh, strings. New bass strings, new treble strings, all new tuning pins. So the tuning pins have all been torqued to, which, which means we check the torque as we go, um, ensuring that uh, that it's it's somewhere between 100 and 130 pounds per in, on, on every single pin. So it's gonna it's gonna be nice and tight indefinitely. I mean for indefinitely. For many, many decades. That's basically indefinitely. As far as we mortals are concerned, this piano will outlast, outlast us. Then, uh, then we have new, new dampers. Here are the dampers. These are, all, these are all replaced. We have new hammers. You can, again, the hallmark of a, of a beautiful hammer job is that, uh, is that it just looks like it came out of a soldier factory where they all just line up beautifully. We have new hammer butts. That's this component here. Uh, all of those are replaced with the bridle straps and new new shanks and then we also have, it's kind of hard to see here, these are let off buttons right there and then this little screw that attaches to the let off button right there, all of those screws have been replaced. Those tend to to snap off on older pianos. And then uh, bushings, bushings as well. Bushings are what uh, ensure that the keys remain in, in their correct alignment. Of course, we've regulated everything, so we have uh, the correct, correct amount of dip, which is the distance you can depress the key. The, the keys are leveled, they're square, so no keys that are off to one side or the other. They're properly spaced, so the alignment between the keys is correct. Uh, full regulation, so the blow distance, which is the distance between the hammers and the strings when the hammers are at rest, that's the correct distance. The let off distance, which is this distance here where the hammer pulls away, that's supposed to be an eighth of an inch. You can go up consistently 
and every single one pulls away at one eighth of an inch. That's the correct spec there. Um, what else? You know, checking distance. When I when I hold that hammer in, uh, down, the uh, or the key down, the hammer is held in check. has been cleaned and uh, put on, install a lot of new felt and leather and that sort of thing. Oh, and here's something else that I forgot to mention. This this is our bridge cap here. Um, when, when we originally got that, got this piano in the bridge cap, it was all cracked. There were cracks right along, right along that line where those bridge pins are. And so, so we took the, Took the bridge off, and uh, and we duplicated it. Um, that's something. That actually, we've got one in process right now. Maybe I'll put this back on, and we'll see where we're at on that bridge cap. It's a process where we go through and and duplicate. Let's go look. Duplicate the the pattern of what was there. So here's a the, the apron, and this is the this is the old bridge cap. Not for this piano. This is a different piano, but you can see all of these these major cracks throughout. That's very problematic. You can see all of that peeling up, and it's just in terrible condition. And the, these holes are quite enlarged as well, which causes problems with the termination point on that string. So so when we rebuild it. Uh, we use this as a pattern using using mylar plastic and then transfer it over to to a new new base bridge. We do a, a lot of those right now. Uh, last count, there were six of them that are that are on the on the current schedule to be redone um, in the next week or two. So we do lots of those. That's a fairly common fairly common issue. They kind of seem to come in waves. And I'm probably missing a few other things, but uh, that's a quick rundown. So let's hear it.